Hello! I am going to show you five uses other than the regular use for bobby pins! If you didn't know this already, allow me to tell you that the correct way to use a bobby pin in your hair is bumpy side toward the scalp. And you want to try to push your bobby pins down and they'll stay better. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my eyebrows with a bobby pin as a guide. I've got my brow pencil here. Find where you want your brow to be. You know, kind of use your bobby pin to comb those little hairs up. And then I'm going to use my bobby pin on the top first and start drawing my little lines. Moving along over here. Look at that, the perfect line. And now that I have that shape already drawn in, I can just freehand fill in that little hole that was left over. Voila, my eyebrows are done. I'm going to use a bobby pin as an eyeliner guide. You can pick whatever shape you want, just like so. That is an extremely straight little cat eye line. If you are still trying to master your cat eye, this is a great way to begin. There we go, perfectly straight little line, and then all I have left to do is connect. I feel very good about those little cat eyes today. Our next hack is as false eyelash adhesive helper. The key to lash glue is that you want to let it get tacky. So I'm grabbing another one of these bobby pins. Carefully apply the glue onto my little false lash. Paying special attention to the corners of the lash. Set this puppy down on my eye. And then, using my bobby pin, I'm gonna press it down onto my lash line. The bobby pin is just a little bit easier to maneuver than your finger, especially for me when I've got kind of these big long nails on. Moving right along to our next step. I'm going to use bobby pins to do some nail art. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start by throwing on this green. Ooh, this is really pretty. I've got my green nails going. And now, take your bobby pin and pull it apart a little bit. Dip my bobby pin inside of the gold paint, and this will be my little dotting tool. So these make just like the perfect little circles. I'm gonna do some stripes for you. There we go. So now I've got these two little gold ribbons go in. Lovely. I'm going to paint bobby pins for a fun new hair bobby pin look. The only thing that you're gonna need is nail polish and some sort of piece of paper. To paint the bobby pins and help them dry, I'm gonna just stick them on the card like so. Today we're just gonna use nail polish to paint our bobby pins. All right, so I'm just gonna get quite a few layers on there because I want the color to really pop and look beautiful. And let these beautiful new bobby pins dry. Here we go. I'm gonna create a little triangle in my hair. Here's one. And there we go. Typically you would wanna pull your hair back like this and put it in the back. Um, this is also a really cute way if you have kids to create little designs in their hair. So there we go, those are your five uses for bobby pins. Please like or comment, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining.